Hello, everybody. Welcome into a very special film room edition of Patriots Draft Countdown. Today, we are going to talk about North Carolina quarterback Drake May, my personal favorite target for the Patriots in the first round. I'm going to show you why, and we'll go through the pros and the cons of May. But I want to start with the pros here with the film. And this first play is one of the things that really excites me about Drake May for the Patriots in the first round. All that happens on this play from a processing standpoint is done pre-snap by May. So that shows his ability to digest information. So what you're going to see here from the defense is this shell right there. That is telling the quarterback that this is cover zero, right? So there's not going to be a deep safety in the middle of the field to play over the top. They are going to bring pressure, and you can see the players in the box right there. So they are going to bring man-to-man -man coverage across the board with no deep safety help. That's start number one. Step number two is the protection. So what Drake May is going to do here with the protection is he's going to slide it this way to the left to get everybody blocked on the line of scrimmage. And if there is a defender that's going to end up blitzing here off the edge, then what he's going to do a little bit once we start rolling it is he's going to drift a little bit here to the left. You see that a little drift there in the pocket, drop it in the dime to the fade. If we go back just a second, there's one more thing that I think is really heady here for him. He reads the leverage of this corner. Right, this corner's hips are pointed a little bit towards the outside. He's open a little bit towards the sideline. So therefore, he knows that this player is running this fade route right there, and he's going to have that advantageous avenue, that open path to get up the field. So he reads cover zero, attack with cover zero. As we roll the play now, you can see him drop it in dime with pressure in his face. That's great pre-snap process there by Drake May to know where his matchup is and know where his answers are on the field. The next thing, another reason why I really love Drake May for the Patriots is that they ran a lot of pistol formation at UNC. So pistol formation means that you have the quarterback in what is typically shotgun, and then you have the running back directly behind the quarterback. And the biggest reason why this is different from regular shotgun is that he's going to have to turn his back to the defense and play out this play action fake here in a second. So when you do that, it's essentially creating the same idea as being under center. So we talk about Alex Van Pelt and this new Patriots offense. If they are going to be under center heavy, if they are going to be play action heavy which is what we expect them to be here in New England then the pistol is the college version of being under center so that's a really easy transition for him to now go from pistol to under center or potentially even the Patriots adapting from going to an under center team to a pistol team whereas some other quarterbacks like a Jaden Daniels for example they lived in shotgun their entire co collegiate career and didn't do a whole lot of this on the route concept what you're gonna see is double post dino concept First, you have the inside post, then you have the outside post here, and you're going to attack the deep part of the field. So as we roll it, you're going to see the play fake, and watch how he turns his back to the defense right there, and gets his eyes back up the field and drops it in the dime there to the outside post. The inside post takes away the coverage, opens up the outside post, and that's how you get that from Drake May. So last one here, down at the bottom of the screen, this is a UNC staple that they ran a ton on film. This is a dagger concept. So you have this middle read route. That's going to clear out the middle of the field and give him a clear picture. Is this a middle field open, middle field closed? How are we going to read this coverage? Then here at the bottom of the screen, if I can draw, there we go. You're going to have that dig route fill in on the middle of the field. But the big key here is the post snap processing. So you have two players in line here standing up in the middle of the field uh, as blitzing threats, right? So as they drop off the line of scrimmage, Drake May is going to have to layer it around these linebackers there in the middle of the field. Good pocket, holds it there, hits Tez Walker in stride, breaks a tackle, and he's in the end zone. So what you see there from Drake May is a lot of things that I think translate to the next level. You see him attacking cover zero, one-on-one -on -one matchups on the outside, layering throws in the middle of the field, things of that nature, you know, the pistol stuff I was talking about, all of that really translates to a pro-style offense. He wasn't an air raid in college, but he's going to be able to fit into a pro-style offense awfully easy with those types of things. So you see those types of things on film from him. You also see this six foot four, 230 pounds, ideal size for a quarterback in the NFL. The one concern that you can cons consistently hear with Drake May is about his footwork and his mechanics. It does need work. He definitely needs some drill work with his footwork. Gets a little bit antsy in the pocket at times later in the drop. I don't see it as often instantly in his first initial drop, but then once the play kind of prolongs and you have a little bit more time in the pocket, his feet can get a little bit, uh, let's just call them unsettled. 
And when he gets to that point, his accuracy has some issues. So this is a player that does have some inconsistencies with his ball placement down the field. But those are types of things that I think can be worked out at the next level. You get him with a good quarterback coach, you drill his footwork for a while, I think he'll be just A-OK. -okay. So the Patriots sitting there at number three, definitely a possibility that they could end up with Drake May. I think it would be a great pick for New England.